Hello, this is Justin Grover with Adobe Product Management, and what I would like to do is I'd like to show you a new feature that's coming out in the June release of, of our freeform analysis tool. Um, the feature I want to show you today is, is called a selective visualization. What it allows you to do is it allows you to control what, what items show up in your visualizations. Um, here I have a, a pages report, essentially, uh, that shows the top 10 pages, but in this case I've only shown the top five in, in the visualization. So what I'd like to do is show you how to do that. Um, the first way to do it is just to simply click and drag. I can, I can click on the data and then click and drag to, to show the different pieces. I don't have to, I can either show you know, both columns or if I just want to show one of the columns I can go ahead and do that. Um, another way to do that is if I click on it and I hit um, shift and click on the bottom of where I want the, the, the the square to be highlighted, um, it will actually highlight all of the all of the data. Um, another way I can do it is I don't have to do continuous sets of data. Um, what I can do is I can pick the ones that I want. For example, I can hit uh, Control or Command on a Mac and um, just get individual items. So in this case, I'm going to select the ones that I care the most about uh, for my department, and I can even add in um, additional metrics kind of as needed, and they will show up um, in the visualization. This works also for, for date ranges or over time type of reports. Here I have a, an over time report which gives me the, the days of the month thus far. And what it does is I can actually show, um, I can either show you know, the last four days like I have here or I can show you know, all of it by again clicking shift and uh, clicking at the end and it will show the whole date range or I can, or I can pick individual days as needed and it will, uh, it will display those on the chart.